What's up everybody? Sasha Crochet back with another video. In this tutorial, it's going to be a super stylish, super cute stitch. You can use this stitch pattern to create sweaters, scarves, blankets, really anything that you like. Now let's get into it. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like and subscribe so you'll be notified every time a new video is posted. This pattern will also work with almost any yarn. It doesn't matter. You can use whatever you like. In this tutorial, I'm using some scrap yarn I had laying around the house and also a six millimeter crochet hook. So this is a super stylish pattern that I came up with. We're going to, uh, go ahead and skip that first chain and go into that second chain with a single crochet and the next one the same thing continuing that across the row this will be our foundation row for the stitch pattern this stitch pattern can be used in creating a scarf a sweater a blanket a headband lots of different things you probably can use it on a, a pillow or so too as well make sure you don't miss a chain going across this first row of singles is very important that you catch all of the stitches make sure you get them all in there at the end of this foundation row I'm going to turn my work then I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to count that chain one as the first single crochet so I will not be putting a single crochet into this space I'll put a single crochet into this next space here and I'll do that through this whole row I'd actually like to do four rows. You can pause the video and meet me back when you have, if you're following along, of course, pause the video and meet me back when you have the four rows complete. So I just completed the fourth row. I'm turning my work. And here I'm gonna play with mixing up a few stitches. So I completed the fourth row. Now I'm going to chain four. I turn my work, chain of four, two, three, and the fourth chain. I'm going to yarn over three times. Will not be putting anything into this first stitch space. This chain of four will count as the first stitch in this row. Going in to that next stitch space. Get with a yarn over, pulling through two loops, pulling through two loops, yarning over in between the two loops. It's a double, triple crochet. Again, yarning over three times at the beginning, going into the stitch, pulling up one loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, Continue to pull through two and yarn it over till you reach the end of the stitch. Do one more with you. Yarned over three times. Going into the stitch, pulling up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. It's the same thing across this row. If you're following along, pause the video and meet me back at the end of this row. So I'm at the very last treble, double treble crochet in this row. Just wanted to make sure you saw this, not to miss that last stitch. It's right there. You want to go in right there. I've already yarned over with my three, going into that last stitch. And just doing the same thing I did. 
in this row. All right. It's pretty. I like it so far. So now We'll go back to chain one. Skip this space here, and in that next space, we'll put in a single. You're just going to repeat this down here, the four. So you'll do single crochets across the top of this and you do four rows of single crochets across the top of that tr double treble pause the video and meet me back when you have the four rows completed so here's what the pattern i came up with looks like it's simple just don't be afraid to play with different stitches together it's just four rows of single crochets and then a row of double treble crochets and four singles underneath. I think it's a very beautiful, elegant, stylish stitch to use. Drop it in the comments if you like it. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate your time. If you've enjoyed today's video, please subscribe. Bye.